Josh. What? Do me an intro. Quick. Vlog intro. 12. Pick 12? Yeah. Vlog 12. <coughs> 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 uh, uh, welcome to... Wait, what, what, which one was it? 12? 12. <laughs> I have no idea. 12. <coughs> welcome to Devlog 12. Yay. Yay. Fuck Yay. off. <laughs> Please don't live in the house. Please don't live in the house. Please don't live in the Please don't live in the fridge, Mr. Bond. Who says that? Um, was it Lestrat that has that voice which is like, please don't? Blah, blah, blah. Please don't. I don't know. Alright, go around. Let's do this thing. Please control. When can you get Alright, sure thing. This is Josh. Showcase master. Oh, who's doing the intro? Cool. There is no intro. <laughs> We're doing an intro in a minute. Anyway, go. Alright, so this is just me going and <coughs> making like all the dialogue and all the decisions, making sure that they can come back around and do so that you can get all the choices that you want. And, um,. Yeah, I basically went through and um, made it so that there are events where, like, uh, let's see, these little guys, the little boxes on the big boxes, they're like events, and basically with that I can call to change stuff. So I have it so it would play like an animation when um, he says something, or <coughs> also, or um, I also have it so you can say stuff as well. So I set that all up. But yeah, it was just mainly getting them all laid out with the dialogue text that you did. Cool. So this is, yeah, more dialogue. <coughs> and like for this one, so basically this whole left hand side, you can only see um, when you don't have the ID. And then, you, so you go through this whole conversation. You can choose which one you want here, and then um, after that happens, you'll never have that again. You'll just do that, yeah. And then you'll get the ID, and then this will happen. And yeah, cool. And then you can get past the gate. Ugh. <coughs> so it's just like a whole bunch of checking stuff and making it all work. Uh, next one. So this was just me and Dan basically. So Dan did the UI. It's very just like basic right now but what it does is it just goes through and checks all the players objectives and if it has any it'll place them up and then if you complete the objective it will um, change it to just say completed so that you know that you've completed that mission nice and yeah that's it for me I like the text yeah there were some other like dialogue things but like I've done so many that I can't remember anymore <laughs> Alright, who's next? Where are you, Dan's? Dan's is basically just the thing that I just showed. Oh, okay. Because he was just working with me and I'll watch his shit. Go, <coughs> Max. Foliage is the big thing. Intense. So, <coughs> adjusting the density for each, the yeah. scales. Um, and so, it also works right now that it spawns plants where we paint a specific texture on the landscape. Um, cool. yeah, so I've been just doing a lot of adjusting in that, playing that, making sure they have all the textures and stuff working. So with this one, um, what I'd recommend is we reduce the density. So it's, I'm thinking like mostly just the grass and then these ones sparsely. Like the fern, you mean? Or? Like grass and ferns would be your primary floor, but then you, you'd have a sparse, like, drop of all these other shrubs and things in, in the place. So I think like the that's concept essentially that. how it works right now is yeah. I, I can still play with it, but there's significantly more ferns than there are, for example, like mango. Yeah. And because yeah, each are their own parameters, I can tweak each different Awesome. We'll do some tweaking next next week then. Next. Um I'm not sure if you guys were aware, but we had a weird glitch with the 
uh, it did like that weird gradient in between each like tan section. So I fixed that this morning. Uh, we put textures on the tan. Um, and that sort of thing. I can't really remember. <coughs> Next. I oh, rotated that whole elevator higher. Closer to the, the boom gate. Cool. Next. The hole looks cool. Yeah, the layout <coughs> matches really well to what we designed. So, it's pretty key. Have we replaced those stock hills yet? The mountains? I think. So we're gonna, unreal ones? Yeah. We had a well, question about that. The thing with the Unreal ones is that when I checked everything on the content example, well, on the forum says it's free to use commercial yeah. as well. It's just like, uh, I want it to be more bespoke so we're not using uh, uh, too much copy stuff. Or uh, if possible, not at all. No, yeah, fair enough. Sorry, we just uh, moved that uh, ticket back. We could replicate that kind of stuff. All right. So make exactly that. So, <laughs> <laughs> that next one. So much so change a little. Oh, true. <laughs> is there, is Rename it. <laughs> yeah. So, this piece is is the text version of Josh's graph. So, when Josh does stuff to the stuff to that graph, we can sp spit out a text version of it. I know I was talking a lot about it with Josh, and maybe the idea would be to so each so each node he had has an index. It's unique. <coughs> So zero one two, and within it you have the text of it, and so maybe that way you could write it into like a massive like spreadsheet and write all the dialogues, or even like that would be a really good way also to edit it. So if we see spelling mistakes or whatever, it's easy to just go in a spreadsheet that has all of the dialogue, fix it, and then have like some sort of script that pulls that data into the script and then back into the engine. If we could do that, Sounds good. if we could automate it like on in in game that means that the spreadsheet itself could be used for multiple languages so yeah. if the person so said I, I want mandarin then the way flips I, it over I, to the next one why i want to do that that was also because of that gdc talk with valve and that's and from my understanding every studio they do their writing is often through spreadsheets because then they just pass the spreadsheet to a translator and all they have to do is translate everything that's written in there so, yeah. Just got to figure out a way to, how do you use that spreadsheet to map the complicated? Yeah. Because the spreadsheet wouldn't be really to be able to design the dialogue. Like the design should still be done. It's just like a properties file full of variables. Which you yeah, it's more for really in. like writing. Yeah. Because like a lot of That's it That's pretty too, straightforward. The way Josh like, oh my God, John, so nice. Like there's obvious, they obviously place all the text. So maybe it's something like Josh can put like a certain naming convention and then you know that this text is for this part of the dialogue or whatever and, and fit into that. Right. Yep. No, I think that's good. Cool. What's that's next? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dr. Hall, the yeah, and then that file is like the actual file. Alright, dance one. No, take it away. Yep, okay. Fuck. Am I not a big shape? Okay, so I've basically just been creating assets and texturing them. That is the boom gate. I also did the animations for it so that when you enter it, it'll actually go up. It's pretty cool. Nice. I thought you were making a, a gun for the top of the Humvee. This is the boom gate. You can make that a gun. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, it kind of looks like it was a gun until you get the tank. True. Oh. It's a tank. But yeah, um, added, baked it, get some details in there, so miniature. Looks good, perfect style. Yeah, it does look good. Cool. Cool. I also got the flag in, and I even got the flag to be simulated, but it's doing this weird thing. Like you guys, I don't know if it's yeah, just like... Yeah, the physics of... Yeah. It, it should be, it should, physics, physics it should like be gone world. like that, next to the pole, but it's just like... It's like it curls in like this, and then yeah, it's just like, like that. It yeah, like, like that. It feels like there's a ball there, just blocking it. <laughs> Um, that much to show some texture on my textures. Nice. I love this style. Texturing is really good. Like that's our metal tileable, so. Nice. Um, which means if we have any metals on it, we can just chuck that on. Adjust the yeah. color a little bit for 
same to same. Yeah. So there's a base, there's a parameter on the material. It's called base tint. You just, if you want it to be a bit more different. Did you draw this? Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, Owen. Do you have all the stars? Yes, actually. Hundred <laughs> percent correct, accurate. I hope. Unless the image I copied off was fake. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny story. The flag was actually upside down, which was really funny. But yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was like upside down. <coughs> no, the very first time, it was the, the blue was oh, like yeah. on the other it's side. The so it was hung by the stripes <laughs> down to the blue, like, like it's weird. And then it was upside down. And then, the like, because like, I'll fix it, then it's just like an upside down American flag. It's like, oh, not quite yet. Did you put them bugs, say? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is um, the tent fabric, so same with the other one, using the same material, so which means you can change it color-wise, and hopefully, and then I'm just like trying to get the material working so that you could add dirt. Because the way you bead the tents is not that specific zero to one space, but it's just using the whole thing so that when you scale the texture down, it'll be tiling, and all you gotta do is break it up by using decals. Cool. And the tent should be... Are we gonna have camo and stuff, or is that a take out? I would have to be within the material, so that's just the base of it. Then the book, I'll hopefully with the material later on add the feature where it goes some layers up on top. Okay, cool. Yeah. There should be a tent there. I'll let him post it. What does that work? No, when the bottom is lighter than the top, yeah. because like it's camouflage yeah, yeah. from seeing. Off, right, I also fixed the tent, on so the I made it more modular, and I'm making a new one, which is not better. So. What'd you do? <laughs> oh, how, how come yeah. Putting normals to show ripples in the, the tent material. That'll have that to be. That just has to be just That's like, like I said, done. the layer yeah. thing with the tent. It's either I paint it on manually and try to find out like where the well, wrinkles are, are, or we can use a randomized fractal noise and we layer that on top of. Thing, like the camo, so that it just randomize randomly does it. Right? The normals, I think the normals you just have to like model in some way, which I mean. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem for another day. Yeah. Right now, this is, it's working, it looks good. It's like what's next later to iterate on that to make it better. Mm. But yeah, that's my next stretch goal for the time, just to make details. Tense move in the wind. <laughs> By tomorrow, yes, tends to move in the wind. It'll just be like that flag again. Correct. <laughs> that would be cool. Wow, uh, what about Dan stuff? We yeah. did Dan stuff. Dan, he... Um... Yeah. I'll do this. Oh yeah, Cass, do you want to play the, play the thingy now? We've got a live demonstration, this is exciting. Uh, Can it work? Is this with <laughs> is this with John as the Flash? <coughs> no, that's it. Oh. Uh, Flash John's funny though. Flash Some of the stuff Flash Dan worked on is like, you know, the name plates, whatever you want to call them, and how they like move the face. With the characters and the player. Um, what else did he do? Oh, he worked on some of like the UI of the dialogue and how like it will circle what you're gonna click on. I like how it looks like he's got an arrow to the face. Yeah. That's just testing. And yeah, the little jump is just me testing to make sure. Just that recorded himself. Like acting it out? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me internally. Yeah, that's just me it's testing really animations. But why would you like Max? <laughs> to make sure it works. Do you want to show you the dialogue where you <coughs> go through and you can open the thingy now? Or is that Kenny's thing? Thingy. Oh, the game. The boom. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, the boom game. I gotta play it a bit yeah, to get to that. <laughs> yeah, it's playable. Hold my drink. Alright, let's go. So, like, Get an objective from that chick or dude. I don't know. Talk to him, ask him whatever I want. Thanks. And, you know, all looking the tents, looking good. That's really cool. It feels like an army base coming in closer. 
We should have Humvees like driving around and shit. Please, no. <laughs> you want to program that? <laughs> that's me just walking. This is Mr. Free. No, but I mean, is that the default speed? Yeah, that's the default speed. Alright. So he's like, go get your pass. Who do you think I am? No! Fine, whatever. So, yeah, now I gotta go get my ID. <clears throat> Yo, do full full experience, don't even sprint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like Holt will heal merely interact with yeah. John! John! Oh my god! <coughs> Talk to this person. You, you asked about information about Oh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. He tells you what Pearson is and yell at him. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna go get that healthy for like please. Oh. Right at the end of the demo, we could have a September print down of like what kind of person you are. Like, oh, you're, you're a dick. So, Peterson now arrives. I'm lying on a crate smoking and watching TV. I don't know. What I think uh, we do is we can't just right. go right up that kind of... That, to work or whatever. But, like, the more you've actually learnt and gone down the path, to kind of explain the morality system, plus also the, um... I don't think we've quite started that side of things. No, no, but we can use it to explain... Like, is there still enough, like, you're still learning the science so if you can be bothered to go learn things. Or if you would just like click, 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 click. If you avoid the interrogative questions, do you feel like you're happy more? Deep down. Talk to Peterson. I can't hear his Irish accent. You're lucky he's not going meh. I just made him buy a Pokemon, so they just say their name over and over again. Peterson, Peterson, Peterson. So now I gotta go get him some smokes. So I guess probably right actually. Though, because most Irish in the US are from Boston, which happens to be in Jersey, which happens to be you know North America. So there could be a combination of the no, two. Mine, mine seems Jersey, a lot Jersey, darker yeah. than New York. Yeah. I don't know why. But your one's older though. It seems like. Yeah, Something's going on. Yeah, it's weird how it's Yours is always weird out. I don't know, it's just the screen. 50 characters, I think it was. So yeah, anything that was longer than that, I had to cut off. Which I saw, I just took out like an end of a kind of a sentence and then kept going. Okay. So, so that it like, wouldn't just roll off the screen. I wonder what will happen if we got like a really low resolution, different ratio screen so that things could be cut off. Um, it should scale everything. <coughs> It's just um, because it because it what it does is it prints it out and it just like keeps going down. So it just goes off the screen. All right, so I think that is the first time we've actually had an end-to-end -end playable version of this level. Yes. Yep. It's a few bugs. <laughs> can't go into the hole yet. So Alpha. Finish it. No, it We're fades out after that. Oh, really? Yeah. Haven't you hole, read the, the whole right read there. the story? The hole's right <laughs> there. <laughs> That's like the Even ultimate. Even I know. The ultimate cock. And you just like get <laughs> so close to getting into the hole. So why is this break? And they take it away from you. Yeah, you can up. subscribe. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do it. Deep in the <laughs> 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 it it's a joke. It's a joke. Please. I don't know how to do it in French. I've never watched a French YouTube video, I don't think. <laughs> no, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Just I'm pretty sure they just say it in English and then that makes Even it cool. Because they're speaking English. So oh. they'll make it cool if they do. Be the first. Josh, first do Josh is our master. Just do an outro. He's, I'll the, tell him how to say he's the face of Deep Inertia. Did you guys get
this is way long. I don't know, but thank you for watching. Well, you know, We're out while these guys are distracted. <laughs>